and Americans need to understand where their system came from and play their part. Otherwise, you'll get the government you deserve, which will be anti-Christian, and that's what's coming closer and closer. I want to ask you a question that I heard you answer uh, in person, and it persuaded me. Because I think I was one of those people that was like, yeah, you know, as Christians, we just need to live quiet lives, keep our nose down, be ready to suffer. And I, we certainly do. Like, we need to be ready to be persecuted for the name of Christ. We need to be ready to suffer in all circumstances as Christians. But you gave such an interesting answer to the question, shouldn't American Christians just detach from politics and just keep our heads down. You know, if you look at the first century Christians, they were not going around trying to get people to be involved in politics. So why, you know, maybe we shouldn't do that either. I, I'd love to hear your comments on that. Well, that's an interesting question because I, I hear that all over the country. I just need to be faithful in my small corner. I'm not going to be bothered about the country as a whole. Why is that disastrous? Well, for two reasons. First, we're called to be salt and light, and those are symbols of penetration and engagement. So the scandal of the American church is that, well, tiny groups like our Jewish friends, 2% of America, but they punch well above their weight and have an incredible influence right through culture and ideas and finance and so on. And we, who are a huge majority, are not salty and not life-faring. Now, that's a failure of discipleship. But I think the problem is deeper. People say my parallel is the early church. Now, the early church is under an empire, a dictatorship. They had zero room to move politically under the Caesars. But my word, they were faithful, even dying for it rather than being compromised. But the American Republic is based on the Hebrew Republic. And in the Hebrew Republic, one of the great principles was the reciprocal responsibility of everyone for everyone. So the Jews put it, every Jew is responsible for every Jew. We, the people, there's a collective solidarity. Now, American, every American is actually responsible for the American Republic to the limits of their calling, speaking, living, Christianly assault and light. So for American Christians to quit and just keep their heads down is to help the republic commit suicide. It's a disaster. And Americans need to understand where their system came from and play their part. Otherwise, you'll get the government you deserve, which will be anti-Christian and far from free. And that's what's coming closer and closer because Christians aren't making the difference that they should. Mm -hmm.